Well, in 91, you got your first movie mm -hmm. role, mm -hmm. Strictly Business. Mm -hmm. uh, and Andre Harrell mm -hmm. from Uptown Records mm -hmm. was one of the producers. And I mean, his intern at the time, him. Sean Puffy Combs, mm -hmm. was your personal assistant mm -hmm. <laughs> on the set. Mm -hmm. This was back before, this was when, this was intern Puffy. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I guess there was a situation where he got into a fist fight mm -hmm. with, with some mm -hmm. with an Italian guy. Mm -hmm. A big Italian guy. Too. Big Italian guy. He was dropping me off at the set. And um, dude was telling me, yo, you park right there. You got to park over there. You know, and he was like, I'm just dropping my client off. You know, he's like, you can't drop him off there. Get out of here, as a matter of fact. He's like, this is the movie set. I'm trying to, you know, do this. This dude is like probably like six, six, seven, you know, 270. Okay. You know, and showing it too, hmm. you know. And so he's like, just let me get his bags out the car and I'm gone. He just needed a second to just let me out. And he said, I told you and... You know, Puffy caught him with a quick one. Like, Puffy punched him in the face. Yeah, well, it was more like of a, it's more like of a corner chip here. You know, it's okay. like a, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a, it's like a warning nip. Mm. You know, you know, you ever, you ever, <laughs> you ever went to a dog, and the dog, you know, you can't really tell the dog is mean or whatever, and you're like, hey, now he ain't a dog. You know, gives you the <laughs> the first the warning nip. You know, and he's looking right at you. You know, <laughs> you know, you ever had that the warning nip? He looking at you. So you, hey. Okay, I got yeah, a Rottweiler. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll do, this, he'll do this number, looking at you. Yeah. You know, so, you know, Puffy gave him that. You know, he, he you know, and he just caught him here. You know, yeah. just, just with a quick nip. Right. You know, you know, because it's just in case. Because right. dude was like, hey, I'll do Bam. You know, and then, you know, this Blood. was coming down here, you know, and everybody was like, ooh, you know. Right. And he called the police. Um. Well, he was more like a walkie-talkie. Got a situation here. You know, I was like, that wasn't that much of an emergency. That was kind of a chip shot. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, dude, you're picking him anyway. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, I, I thought it was like, out of, you know, like a saving private Ryan. You just thought it was saving. Coordinates 59617. We need the, you know, I was like, dude, you, you, you're. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, they had the phones where they had to crank them, crank them, you know. <laughs> Six one five five four four one one. We need the gun. We need a gun gun. Not the crank you know, phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the crank phone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, dude, you just got caught with a chippy. You know what I mean? You came at dude like that and he just caught it. You know what I mean? He just caught you right. You know? Wap. Right. One four four five five one on coordinates nine five. You know, I was like, like I was like, dude, you know what I mean? Like that, you know, he don't even have a a a, a, a rifle. You know what I mean? Yeah. He got a gun, no wop. You know what I mean? Right. So the police get coordinates called. five six one one four on the one one one. I need a gun, gun, gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the police get called <laughs> sorry about the audio I, I, it's all I, good I, I like it's all good the, the, the police get called and Puffy gets arrested yeah 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 I find that out like in the middle of the night because he called me he's like yo can you come down here because I can't get out mm -hmm. on personal cock you know what I mean I'm, I can't Andre and Russell and nobody will. so I went down there got him come on yeah you bailed him out Went about our business. And dude never forgot it, you know? Mm -hmm. Never forgot it. Puff, you know, and I knew he was going to blow. Because Puffy used to take me all around New York. Mm -hmm. That was his job. His job was to show me the club scene in New York so I can get ready for my character. So him, me, him, Heavy D, mm -hmm. we would go out all night to the clubs. And he would show me all the hip-hop acts that weren't signed yet. Yeah. So... Leaders of the New School wasn't even signed. Mm -hmm. You know, Black Sheep wasn't even signed. You know, these boys weren't even signed, man. Uh, Jodeci, he's the one that brought Jodeci through. Yep. You know, they weren't even like, their song being in Strictly Business is what made them blow. Right. You know, so he knew Mary J mm -hmm. and all of them. So when Puff did Craig Mac, mm -hmm. I was like, Plus, he's smart. He don't care. He'll tell you what he think. Yeah. I had a, a wid widow's peak, you know, in my little flat top, right? So he's like, yo, 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 you got to cut that, man. Mm 
You know, I'm from D.C. Anybody from New York can be telling me nothing, right? So I'm like, ah, I ain't going to cut this. He said, all right, man, but when they get on the big screen, it's probably going to stand out. I was like, I got to take my chances. Man, when I saw myself on Strictly Bitters, this looked like a shark fin. Like, I was like, man, dude was right. I look like Count Dracula in that bitch. You know, I'm like, shorty, smart, man. He ain't playing, man. This dude is smart. So, you know, he came up with, out with, um, with uh, Craig, you know, flavor in your ear. Mm -hmm. But I knew he was a genius because he was gone on the remix. I, I knew he was gone. I said, he's got his own. He's not coming back. You know, that niggas is mad to get more boots to the ashtray. Fuck the fear, want to get mine the fast, fast way. way. Ski mask way. way. Nigga, ransom, ransom notes. notes. Damn, I'm handsome. But damn, a nigga talk. What you talk? More guns and rolls, rolls, kicking in my boots. Invisible bully. You know what I'm saying? It's shit. Blow tissues. Boom. Skeevy. Delicious. Uh, give me coos, coos. Love me good. Ooh, damn, a flavor in your air. Freeze. Hold the freeze. Freeze. Hi, 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 hi. I was like, and he's in the middle of like, <laughs> you know, I was like, he's gone. So, little, little, little I get side excited. Story. Little, little side story, right? So I remember I'm interviewing Buster Rhymes, right? right? right. Our, our, uh, well, we've done a couple interviews, but this, <laughs> this is uh, the last one we did. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, Bus, you've done a lot of guest verses. Mm -hmm. Do you think anyone's ever gotten you on a song that you did a guest verse for? <laughs> Buster said? looked at me and said, I don't know. Do you think that anyone's got me on a song? Right. And I said, hmm, Flavor in the Ear remix. Everyone in the room goes, ooh, right? Because Biggie, you know? Biggie, Biggie, open that up. Open it up, right? Yeah, Biggie, and open it up. So Buster's like, okay, okay, all right, I feel you on that. My Buster Rhymes invitation. But uh -huh. during that era, the hottest dude on a song always went last. I mean, hey. And, that, and that's that's his that, point of view. You gotta respect it. Yeah, it, it with with that remix, uh huh, that established him. Yeah, that established him. Yeah, well, that was the know. post. That was that was uh, you know, leaders what, the new school. You know, Buster Rhymes yeah. a solo artist, yeah. first time. Yeah, yeah. 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 that right. that that when he did that, mm -hmm. that put him on a whole another level because people were thinking that C Brown was gonna be the one, and um, all of them were nice. Yeah. You know, a tribe called Quest didn't get signed either, and Puff knew them too. Mm -hmm. You know, but. He was a standout anyway, you know. Yeah. The real cock diesel, the chocolate chicken. No. You know, it's like he ain't nobody like him. You know what I mean? But that's the that's the the most the, the the beautiful part of this business to me is is one, there's enough for everybody. Two, you know, creative expression never ends, you know. Mm -hmm. And three, we can learn how to we can learn how to um dictate our own future through learning how things work, you know, learning how systems work, learning how economics work, learning how human beings think. And, you know, Byron, Byron Allen told me something. I never forget. He told me what we do isn't hard. He said, people are, you know, uh -huh. people are hard. Yep. You know, and that's one of the smartest dudes in the business, you know? Yep. You know, well, smart because he ain't doing no business with me, but I'm just saying though. 